Shout out to Rookie, man. Yeah. All right, Tell but me. we're going to have the, the kid right now, Rapture, with Little Mac stepping up to the plate. This kid, he was not a very uh, dominant force in Brawl in tournaments, but he has been placing quite high lately in Smash 4. Part of the E3 Invitational, of course, with Little Mac there and with Little Mac here. Yeah, sometimes it's just the mentality shift that does it for you. Absolutely. You know, he started to view himself as a player who is getting recognition just because of how vocal he's been on many things, the contribution he's given to the community, such as DI, stuff like that. And now he's uh, he's taking himself a little bit more seriously, and it really pays off. I'm definitely going to co-sign that one, and he's just improved fundamentally as a player as well. I've been playing a lot with him. He lives less than a mile from me. We go to the same college now. So. Cool. Yep. Um, and he's going to be playing against Isaac. Who is, oh, Zork. Okay. Zork, Zork. Zork, who's using Charizard of Lizard all characters. Dog. Yeah. Uh, Chibo's still rocking with that Japanese capture 3DS. Me too, actually. All right, so we had the last person wearing a Charizard shirt, but they played <laughs> Ness, and then this person is playing Charizard, but he's wearing a Toon Link shirt. Yes. So maybe our next opponent will play Toon Link. And wear a Pikachu shirt. Or something like that. Just pay it forward, guys. Okay, so uh, Rapture holding it down a little tiny lead right now, but nothing huge. Charizard got the cross-up, but didn't capitalize. Lomac able to counter nice the counter. Play, uh, fire breath. I really like that the counter dashes forward when you counter an attack, so you can kind of use it as a pseudo recovery move if you make a read on your opponent's edge guard. Really yeah. cute little mag mechanic. Great technology considering the cover character struggles so much to recover. Yeah, Rapture has been making great use of that counter as a recovery move as well, so I'm definitely anticipating seeing a little that. Oh, oh, oh the custom, custom move! Triple flame breath! Okay. Oh, oh, and the, the KO, KO punch. Of course, that move is unblockable. You cannot shield it. And that was a totally unnecessary use of it there. His opponent was above 120%. But, I mean, you can say it's a necessary risk, but at the same time, his opponent was shielding, and he got the kill from it. True. If you use a move and you get the kill, that's what it's for. I mean, it's on one hand, you can say, oh, well, Little Mac could have killed him without using the KO punch. True, but, but he couldn't that, have in but that, by that Exactly. He couldn't have in that situation, and by that same... Degree, if he can kill him without using the KO punch, then that means he doesn't need to save the KO punch to get the next kill. And of course, if you don't use it, you lose it because you get a hit a couple times and you no longer have the KO punch. So if you can use it to secure the kill, go for it. There's no real reason to hold on to it. That's very true. Unless uh, you want to just take that second stock from your opponent very quickly. Instant. We've seen uh, little Mac players such as Cases will make great use of that tactic. Absolutely. But another thing you have to also remember is that Charizard is a fairly heavyweight character and it does not KO at zero. It does. So even provided he got the kill, he would have still had to outplay his opponent through invincibility frames and then not get hit, not lose a KO punch, and rack him up to high enough percent that he would have then been able to use a KO punch for a finisher, which is, you know, it's maybe more work than he wants to try and put in when he can secure that he gets the stock off right now and then just continue building the lead as he's been doing. You don't want to give up the momentum. Using the KO punch to maintain the momentum, I feel, was the correct play there. And so far, it's not looking like Rapture's having much trouble outplaying his opponent. Wow, that was a... Nice. I believe that was a killing variant yeah. of Charizard's up beat. Yeah, up very kill. high. That also seems like a custom Flare Blitz, because he doesn't light himself on fire and crash into things. So uh, I'm learning nice Charizard's custom moveset here. Yep, and oh, maybe he went for another counter. It looked like he did. Maybe he got stuffed, and the one-two taking him out. Absolutely. Now, it's kind of funny you mention it, because custom you said custom Flare Blitz, and it made me think of Pokemon, right? Because one thing I'm noticing in the new Smash, obviously, with the introduction of custom moves and with them being allowed and viable in tournament, is I think of Pokemon, in, in competitive Pokemon, yep. you can see what Pokemon's going to come out, but one thing that Pokemon players always have to know is, okay, what moves do these Pokemon have? All right, and now coming into Smash, it's a little bit interesting because it's like, okay, I know the potential of what moves this character can have, right. but which ones do they actually have? And just like in Pokemon, there's four different special moves that you can assign custom moves to. So it's a, it kind of gives you that interesting dynamic mix-up. I mean, you do know the scope of what your opponent can do, um, but you don't know necessarily which potentials they have unlocked for this particular round. And I think it brings a really interesting mental dynamic to the match. So it's something I'm looking forward to seeing in tournament, you know, especially because new tactics can start emerging that we've never seen before, where you decide not to use a special move, and now your opponent doesn't know, mm -hmm. okay, do I have to cover this option or that one? I don't know which one they brought to the table. And now all of a sudden, there might be a character with a lethal down B variant or, you know, uh, a faster variant and that's good in different situations, and you don't know which one to be on the lookout for. You can save back some secrets as a trump card because all the material isn't presented on the table up front. Very yeah. interesting.
very reminiscent of Pokemon and also of card games. Yeah. Which uh, we're in a card shop right now here at Toyways, but uh, Zark busting out the Duck Hunt with a custom side. Wow, okay, two custom moves at the very least. Look at those huge cowboys that come out for his <laughs> yeah. down B. Maybe they don't attack. I think I didn't see him shoot, but they just stand there and absorb hits and a can that bounces very far from side to side. Yeah, no, that thing doesn't seem to attack. That's Ooh. very interesting. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, okay, that's cute. All right, interesting stuff with the custom moves from Zork's Duck Hunt. I'm it liking it so far. I haven't seen anything that's made me go, okay, that's just completely unfair. But I have seen things that have made me go, whoa, and it's exciting and fun to watch. Yeah, custom moves are definitely a thriller in this game, man. And so is Little Mac. I think <laughs> yeah, for everyone sure. loves watching this guy. Absolutely. It's definitely one of my favorite characters to watch. This is definitely one of my favorite matchups. You have the epitome of range gameplay in Duck Hunt Dog versus get up close and into your face with the close quarters combat boxer Little Mac. So I, I really love to see how this goes. Yeah, this is definitely a clash of two stars. And that goes nowhere in oh, there. Close. I don't know why Rapture even went for that. Could have won the game as soon as Duck Hunt landed. But now he's just working his opponent into the corner, trying to keep him there. Wow, those cowboys take forever to shoot, man. <laughs> Getting lit up. Poor Rapture. Wait, it looks like Little Mac is trying to put his dog to sleep right now. I'm tired of paying the vet bills, he said. <laughs> oh, charging up the neutral B. That has so much ending lag, though. Trying to put Cruella de Vil to shame right there. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, I hate Dalmatians more than anybody else. Oh, no landing uh -oh. jab there. Rapid jab, 26% sends them soaring into the air. We've got Cowboys. Yep, and he's not really being too proactive. Oh, and shot the opposite way, too. But I was going to say, he's not really doing too much by putting him behind him in the corner. I'd say the highest value of that giant custom move is to protect yourself, because those Cowboys eat hits. Now, a big mistake coming up from Zork right there. Little Mac had to land on the stage. He didn't have too many options. And uh, Zork really wanted to make a read on Little Mac's defensive option so that he would have been able to secure a KO. When he had to land, you'll notice that... Uh, um, Rapture, excuse me, Rapture automatically rolled once he landed and looking for defensive options when your opponent's in a pressure situation like that is really important for being able to secure kills. You've got a second KO punch now, Charge Duck. And now Zork recovering to the edge once with invincibility, doesn't even bother re-grabbing the edge, knows that Rapture's looking for these kill moves including down smash which can hit vulnerable opponents on their second ledge grab. Gets back to the stage and Duck Hunt too. Oh, is that it? That it could be it. Not enough vectoring to save him from that one. That'll be the game. All right, Rapture 2-0 over Zork. Now let's see what we've got coming up next for you in Super Smash Bros. 4 3DS.